Hello everyone, my name is Steven and thank you so much for tuning into my channel Fragrance with Steve. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider uh, subscribing and also don't forget to put the bell notification so you will be updated uh, on new videos on this channel. So, without further ado, in today's video I have uh, the overview of the fragrances I've been wearing last week. Let's start off with the first one on Monday by the house of Rasazi, a fragrance called Hawas. A cool looking bottle, uh, you know, a fragrance that has been reviewed extensively on YouTube already. So if you're curious about this fragrance, you can look it up and find some great content on this by other reviewers. I am, however, planning to do a review on this one myself because I feel like value, quality, scent, performance, everything together, this is amazing juice. Uh, for me, a blind buy, I hadn't smelled it before purchasing this bottle um, at 45 euros, I believe I paid for it. It has been amazing. As you can see, I put quite a dent in this bottle already after only owning it for like two or three months now. Um, and that's kind of hard to do for me as I have so many bottles to rotate through. Uh, but yeah, this is amazing. It has a, a very potent ambergris base with a lot of cinnamon. Uh, there's some sweetness, but there's also like a musky, uh, salty, oceanic vibe. Uh, a fragrance that reminds me actually about a crossing between Invictus Aqua and maybe something sweeter like the original maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can expect a full review on this one to come to the channel in the future. For now, however, that's just... You know how much I can tell you on this one uh, otherwise this video will be too long great fragrance if you haven't smelled it give it a try you won't be disappointed so the next one on Tuesday last week is by Penhelegans and this is called Halfeti as you can see a gorgeous looking bottle it has a rose on the label in front and that's just uh, an indication of what the main uh, player in this fragrance is the main note for me is rose, but it's combined with a very uh, green, uh, a little bit woody as well, uh, a green note of uh, something like pine, uh, a very uh, a very spicy fragrance. There's also a lot of saffron in here. It's very sweet, extremely potent as well, but there's this gorgeous rose, a black, dark rose, supposedly being grown in Halfeti, which is a village in Turkey uh, near the sea. Smells amazing uh, throughout and performance is wicked. I mean, I can smell this into the next day, but the quality and the overall experience for me is a hit. I can see this fragrance being quite polarizing though, because it is so green. So you have to like fragrances like, for instance, this one right here. Um, this one, however, is a little bit, no, not a little bit, it's quite a lot sweeter and it also has that rose, which is nothing uh, that you get in uh, Polo Green. Nevertheless, check this one out if you haven't heard from it, Halfeti, I mean, amazing juice. So for last week's Wednesday, I went with a fragrance by Sergev and this is, of course, uh, one of my favorites, Al Kat from the Oud Stars collection. What more can I say about this fragrance? I did a review already. This is the most uh, amazing jasmine, oody, skanky, but yet delicate and sophisticated type of combination. It's like a magical elixir and it brings uh, happiness to me whenever I wear it. And yeah, performance is exceptional with this fragrance. I mean, don't spray it on your clothes or you will be smelling it for weeks and weeks to come. I, I've experienced this already with some of my sweaters and scarves and whatnot it sticks around forever even after washing it it don't really leave uh, fabric itself sticks on my skin for 12 to 24 hours uh, amazing fragrance uh, check check out my review if you're curious if you haven't smelled it before uh, because this one is one of my favorites of all time Thursday last week, guys, I wore a fragrance that is considered to be one of the more ultimate feminine fragrances out there by Robert Piquet, and this one is called Fraca. One of the most iconic female scents. Uh, I'm stressing that because this is 
one of those classic iterations of two bros and it feels indeed quite delicate it suits women excellent i mean this is a fragrance that i really like to smell on my girlfriend however the the floral side of the two bros in here is developing differently on my skin than it is on her skin it's a lot less sweet floral than it is on on her and i truly adore what what this fragrance brings to me i feel really comforted wearing it um and it's just such a beautiful composition something that i i should do also re a full video on check this one out if you haven't heard from it it's uh iconic it's one of the best fragrances of all time fraca by robert piquet all right then on friday last week i wore a fragrance by chanel fragrance that is from in the, i believe it's from in the 60s already it's a really old fragrance this one is called pour monsieur uh, as you can see uh, kind of like a green color juice there is however nothing green about this there's a lot of citrus in the top. There's also uh, uh, some uh, vetiver, uh, oak moss. It's aromatic. It has a lot of fresh elements, but it has that classical Chypre mossy dry down that you find in a lot of those fragrances from back in the day. It doesn't stick around too long. I mean, it, it's, it's good. It's, it lasts for like six, six to eight hours, maybe that's pushing it. Um, performance is, is not that stellar it doesn't push all the way across the room like many of the other fragrances that I just mentioned do uh, but this one you can just you spray all over yourself and you know that you smell classy masculine and refreshed I mean this one is uh, very refreshing because of those citrus notes and they last for quite a, a decent amount of time <clears throat> they definitely go through the mid as well uh, when this fragrance starts to dry down you, you still get the citrus which is something that you don't get with any uh, fragrance out there I mean citrus notes usually uh, uh, vanish after after like one or two hours but they stick around quite you know quite long in the overall dry down of this fragrance which is something that I really appreciate and yeah this has definitely some uh, something classic and elegant and it will instantly make you think about like a gentleman from back in the day maybe like a mustache and a nice suit um, yeah great fragrance if you haven't heard from it check it out Pour Monsieur by Chanel all right so Saturday last week I reached for a fragrance by Guerlain and this one is called Songe d'un bois d'été as you can see a gorgeous looking bottle a fragrance that for me it was an instant hit when I first smelled this on the Champs Elysees so many years ago um, this fragrance has a lot of uh, smoky elements from the type of oud that they use and there's some incense in here as well. Then of course you also have that saffron which is also an aromatic spicy note that adds to the overall smokiness and spiciness of the fragrance. Those, those notes combined really make for an interesting combination, something that smells rather masculine to me but I believe it's still quite unisex. Um, However, this is a fragrance that I believe is best for colder, colder weather. Sorry, so this is best for fall and winter, and we have been having you know some colder temperatures recently. So this was excellent for my uh, scent of the day last week on Saturday. I actually wore this for work going to Calais. Uh, I had to stay over there, spend the night. But uh, I could smell it from the moment of application right up until the moment that I uh, went to bed in Calais. So it stayed on my skin for like, I believe, 8 to 10 hours, which is really, really good. Um, it's a fragrance that will be appreciated more uh, by people who are more into fragrances due to the fact that there's not too many uh, generic sweetness, uh, sweet elements in this composition. It smells really natural, smoky, a little spicy. Check it out if that sounds like something that you would appreciate. For me, 10 out of 10 fragrance right here. Songe d'un bois d'été. All right, guys, and then on Sunday, I spent the night in Calais. I just mentioned that. And I don't really like to bring fragrances uh, when I travel. I don't really like to take bottles with me. So 
Uh, on Sunday, I wore a sample by Aqua di Palma, and this is the oud uh, side to leather. They have a uh, Colonia leather, uh, which is uh, a real gentle type of suede leather combination. I really like that one. I uh, haven't bought a full bottle because for me, uh, still Tuscan leather is king. But uh, the Colonia leather is like a softer, gentler uh, version of Tuscan leather without the raspberry, without the sweetness actually, and a little bit of um, citrus instead. But this one, the Colonia Oud itself, for me, it's a fragrance that I have only sampled like once in the past, I believe, and it's a long time ago, it's more than a year. Uh, so having tried out this fragrance on Sunday last week instantly remind me again uh, about my first experience with this one. Supposedly there's a lot of oud but there's nothing really natural about the oud note that they use in this. To put it next to a fragrance like for instance Songe d'Am Bois d'Ete would be a real shame. I don't really mean to, um, to talk bad about this fragrance but for me it smells quite synthetic this one. Overall it it smells like something that a lot of people will compliment you on. The staying power is exceptional. Um, so yeah, it's nothing that I will grow to love. Uh, it's not something, something that I will reach for or buy a bottle of. But there you have it guys, that's what I wore last Sunday. All right guys, let me know how you feel about this list. Uh, what do you think about the fragrances themselves? Do you have any questions about them? Leave me a comment down below. But thank you so much for tuning in again. I hope to see you soon on my channel in the next video. So take care.